the last one. Well, I really like this picture on the left. It's very, very cute. Um, I don't want to change that at all. And then the Sudoku, those are pretty cool because they're puzzles too. I like it. You have the rompecabezas on one side, the puzzle. <laughs> and you have then this number puzzle. Oh, such brilliance. Well, what do we have to do again? Well, we need to make everything in the center. Although, I don't know. When it looks like a real paragraph, you might want it to look like real text. So let's just focus on the first one up here. We select the box. We come up here to align. We put it in the center. Okay, I want more room. So I'm going to select the box and then I'm going to use the arrows on my keypad and move things up where I can use my uh, trackpad as well. Well, hmm. Two finger click because of these little lines. Well, we missed an accent. Now remember when we missed a period last time? And it was really important that we did the period correctly. We want accents to be like that too. People do judge you on those little things. And when they're busy judging you on the little things, they miss out on your brilliant idea. So let's fix that. I two finger click where those little red dots are. Whoops, excuse me. I'm a little bit inaccurate there. Whoops. <laughs> Oh my, hmm, how did I do this? I like struggle. It's always interesting. Well, hmm, okay. Once I select it and then I click it, policia, that needs to be fixed. Diferentes, well, it wasn't spelled quite right. Okay, now we have no red lines, excellent. Again, I want to move this up a little bit. You know what? I'm going to keep this one exactly how it looks. But remember, the box is too big and it can get in the way. Okay? It's like when your pants are a little too long, you can trip on them. Hmm. That's weird. Notice how things up here aren't quite aligned. So I'm going to use my arrow and see. Oh, that's what it is. There's an extra space up here. All I got to do is hit backspace. Ah, now it's perfectly aligned. But remember, it's too bright. So we have the kind of purple. We have the green. Hmm, the red, the green. Oh, well, what color could I use? I don't want to use pure white. Maybe I could change the background. Remember, got to pick the background by clicking on something that isn't. Uh, any text or uh, images, change background. Let's see, I could go with kind of an off-white to make it less harsh. Uh, maybe a light gray. Let's see what this looks like. Huh. Still kind of bright. I don't know. Let's change the background again. And the, this is okay to struggle like this and get it a little bit different. We had the dark purple. We had the dark green. Let's see what... Ooh. Yeah, I like it. But again, this disappears. So what do we do? Well, let's change this. We've used bright yellow and bright green. Maybe blue pink, hmm, maybe another different kind of red. Will that work? I kind of like that. Let's see if I stick with it. Now, what happened here? Something weird happened here, and there's white behind it. No matter where I move this, it has white behind it. How, how on earth do I change that? Well, luckily for you, there's a button that'll do just that. It's called Fill color. So whatever's in that box, you hit fill color. And since you don't really need anything there, let's make it transparent. Well, that's better, but I still want that to be a different color. 
Should I stick with the same color? Let's see what that looks like. Eh, I don't like them to the same color anymore. I do like this color on top of the dark red. But I want to change this. I could go with white. But there's also so much white here. I don't know. And you eventually will find your own style. Let's find uh, maybe an orange. Ooh, otoño. I like it. Okay. Let's see. Hmm, 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 hmm. <sighs> I like this guy. Oh, wait, those, those, are the, those are the red lines again. What? But those aren't in the center. What, what is that? Start moving it around and... Well, get this. The left side of this detective is aligned with the left side of the text. And when I move it up, I notice the top of the detective is connected to the bottom of the text. And that's why it looks so nice. Okay. Now, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I reduce the amount of bright white on the screen to help my eyes. Ooh, I like it because I can like put in more stuff. Okay. So I have to change my alignment. All that work I did getting it perfectly aligned isn't there anymore, but that doesn't look right either. So I'm going to just put it together. Now, I like the Sudoku, but I want it to be all kind of the same size. Oh, there's the red line again. What did you notice? Did you see a red line on the bottom? Nope. I'm going to click and drag, and there it is. So the Sudoku is all the same size. But well, I think there would be something adorable to do here. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to move this guy over. I'm going to keep it the same size. And I want another detective. Okay. And so I uh, hit Control C for copy and then Control V for paste. Or I can come up here. I can go to Edit and I can hit Copy. And then maybe come over here, click again, and hit paste, or edit, paste. Oh, but they're looking the same direction. They're both looking to the right, but I want them both looking at the puzzles. What do I do? What do I do? Well, I select this guy over here, and I go to Format Options. I hit size and rotation and I can actually flip him to where he's looking to the left. <laughs> yes! And all I have to do to get out of here is press the X. Now they're not aligned yet, are they? Now it's, oh my gosh, now they're too big. I can't fit it on. Oh wait, but I can shrink the Sudoku. Oh, there's a lot of red lines. The red line, that one looks like it's in the middle. Look at the red line to the left and the right. It shows that the left guy is connected to the right guy. Let's let it go, see what happens. Oh, that looks amazing. But I noticed this doesn't look quite right either. So what do I do? Well, the easiest way is to put it right against the middle piece. And then one, two, three, four. Come over here. One, two, three, four. And now we have three beautiful slides that will help people understand we know what we're doing and that our families love us and care about us and that we love and care about them. We want to make beauty in this world. And while we can't be perfect, beauty doesn't have to be. It just has to be tried. Good luck.